disturbances and blessings, breaks and building up, everything become parts of life. Those who do not know God, when things go wrong or when things are not clear, they get upset, they get broken, they also try to break others. But when we move with the Lord, as we read in 1 John chapter 2, says, verse 26, the world and all its glory passes away. But those who trust in the Lord, they live forever. In the book of Isaiah chapter 40, it is written, the young man may lose his vigor. The old man may lose everything. But those who trust in the Lord, they will, their strength will be renewed and they will be flying high and high and higher. Yes, a unique life walking with God. That's why we read in the book of Genesis chapter 5, Anok walked with God. Genesis chapter 6, Noah walked with God. Chapter 12, Abraham walked with God and was called as his friend. Yes, walking with God is a unique life provides to us. Not that we don't have problems, not that we don't have struggles, not that we don't have situations which are always pleasing to us. But when we walk with the God, we experience God walks with us. That's what we read in First John chapter 5, verse 18. He who is born of God keeps God with himself and recognizes God keeps himself. When we keep God, God keeps us and the evil one cannot touch us. Praise the Lord. When we read in the life of Abraham, Genesis chapter 12, God called Abraham and said, Son, please leave this place and depend on me. Go to the place which I tell you and I will make you a great nation. They didn't have children. He's already 75 years old. The Lord is saying, leave everything. He said, anyhow, I don't have anything. Let me leave for God. When he left, his father walks along with him. His brother walks along with him. His brother's son walks along with him. And as they traveled a bit, suddenly the father dies. Abraham might have been broken. How does I walked with God? Suddenly my father died. And then they move on, they found a land which is really flourishing. One of the brothers who walked with him says, I stay here. Now brother's son, another brother's son, Lord says, I will come with you. Abraham is not able to say, God is calling me. I have to walk with him. Instead, Abraham walking with God he carries others along with him in the sense carry the family, carry all his struggles and he is caught up with that. In that struggle, Abraham makes all kinds of blunders. Suddenly he recognizes the land God gave Cana, even there is a drought. He's, the Lord said, it will be a land of milk and honey. But now, in the same land of drought. Not knowing what to do in the moment of drought. Some people are telling him, why can't you go to Egypt? 
there's a good food there good nile river there forgetting god forgetting god's plan he runs to river he runs for food he runs to egypt and there he gets his own wife is carried away a young woman a servant called hega is being given to her there his life becomes a miserable one in those miserable moments he looked towards god and cried to god please have mercy on me please guide me sara is saying give me a child otherwise i will die abraham gets angry and says am i a god to give it to you family becomes miserable one one man with the two women life becomes still worst sara and hega and hega is having a child life becomes worst but in all these moments abraham looked towards god and god gave him the light to move out of darkness to pierce through darkness with his light as you lift up your right hand call upon the lord like abraham you to walk with god but your life is full of ups and downs you don't understand why these things are happening to you you get stuck up with a problem and you fail to see the one who walks with you you get stuck up with a situation and you are not able to see the light that is available to you call upon him one day at a time sweet jesus that's all i'm asking from you please show me the way one day at a time do you remember when you walked among men lord jesus you know if you're looking below it's words now then then cheating and stealing violence and crime lord for my sake teach me to take one day at a time one day at a time sweet jesus that's all i'm asking from you help me see today show me the way one day at a time hallelujah 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 when abraham walked with god life was tough but he did not know that he is sowing seed for him and for his generation because he has been given a blessing for generation he goes to the place called bethel and it is full of desert he didn't know what to do he makes a tent worships the lord and goes away even i'm in struggle if you cling to god what you do will bless you and your generation sometime when you do certain things you may not understand why these things are happening to you no result is seen 
he fetch the ten, suddenly he remembers, oh, why should I remove? Maybe some other people may come. And he leaves the stone and many things and he moves away. After a long time, his grandson, Jacob, cheated by, he cheated his father, he cheated his brother, and he was running for life. And then, he comes to Bethel, a land of desert. He didn't know what to do. He sees a small tent, goes and offers the prayer. And that night, the Lord appeared to him and said, I am the Lord of Abraham. As I promised to Abraham, I will be with you and guide you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Abraham was working in the field. Now he has to move to a place called More, a full of rocks and mountain. He didn't know what is this. He is not used to work. In our life also sometimes things are too tough for us. We do not know how to work. But one thing Abraham did. He built an altar at the mountain of Moray, offered and went ahead with the power of God. In the same mountain, after many, many years, another servant of God called Moses will come. And God will talk from that mountain. Moses, Moses, will you go and lead my people? Close your eyes for a minute. 